Welcome to the International News Channel, News Hour, with our special focus on Dow Chemicals today. We have in our studios the CEO and the Managing Director of Dow Chemicals India, Mr. Ramesh Ramchandran. Thank you, Mr. Ramchandran, for joining us in our studios. It's a pleasure having you today with us. 28 years ago, India witnessed a major catastrophe, the Bhopal gas tragedy. Yes, we have been through several news and media reports of the catastrophe taking a death toll of more than thousands of people across the country. Women, children, men, old people and people who had employment have lost not only their jobs but homes and not to mention the peace. Dow Chemicals has taken full responsibility of the incident. The UCIN has also blamed themselves and come together to do a damage restructure. But are we in a position to welcome back Dow Chemicals to India and say there is light at the end of the tunnel? Let us, find, uh, let us understand. Well, Dow Chemicals Corporation is an American multinational corporation headquartered at Michigan, United States. Dow Chemicals is a provider of plastics, chemicals, alkalis and agricultural products. As of February 2009, Dow Chemicals is the third largest chemical company in the world by market capitalization. Dow Chemicals definitely has a new strategy at hand. They want to come back and tell the people of India that they're here for good. No longer to hurt the sentiments of people, no longer to create a negative image. Let us find out by the CEO and the managing director himself in our studios. Mr. Ramchandran, we understand that you have a new best friend. And right now, that is India, undoubtedly. What made you come back to us? Dow Chemicals believes that India is an essential part of BRIC and we aim to achieve a long-standing relationship with the government and produce diversity to improve and enhance through market expertise. Uh, Dow Chemicals aims to achieve this Herculean task and India and Dow must come together as one. And hence, we have sent a document to the government of India. At the outset, uh, we also aim to achieve excellence and bring in a radical change in the outlook of the Indian people about Dow Chemicals. That looks very promising, Mr. Ramachandran, but we must really understand that there has been enough, and I must say more than enough of the negative damage that has taken place over the last 28 years. And that seems to be a major crisis for the company to tackle and manage the extensive damage that has caused today, that your stepping stone to success is tarnished. Even after thorny public relations from people in India and abroad, Dow has continued to grow into a multi-billion corporation. This only goes on to show the authentic value of Dow around the world. We urge the government of India and the people of this nation to realize the value of such a company and give us the due respect for what we are and not for what we acquire. Mr. Ramachandran, you have clearly emphasized that there is a greater need to welcome industries in our nation. So, Mr. Ramachandran, do you have a plan at hand to bring back the trust of the company? Uh, like I already mentioned, a document has been sent to the government of India. The document has also been given to the various NGOs, activist groups, media to critically examine what it contains and what we have to say about the entire incident. A couple of points that I would like to elaborate on are one, monetary security deposit will be given by uh, to a tune of up to $250 million with the government of India. This is just a legal binding. Uh, although Dow as a company of trust and dependability ensures the government of India and the people of this nation that such an incident shall never ever occur again in the pressings of India or anywhere around the world. Another point that I would like to dwell upon is that Dow shall spend to a tune of up to $10 billion to clean up the Bhopal site in an MOU that is a memorandum of, a memorandum of understanding with Tata. Any further additional uh, incurring charges shall be paid by the government of India and the Tata Group. Before we close the day today, Mr. Ramachandran, we had an um, excellent interaction with you. I'm sure the people of India would want a message from you. So what would that be? Uh, to the people of India, we at Dow believe that Dow is an organization of credibility, trust and dependability. We need the government of India and the people of this nation to forgive us for the mistakes committed by our forefathers 
and endow us with an opportunity to build a healthy and long-lasting relationship by correcting our mistakes and improving standards that were set out earlier. That was Mr. Ramesh Ramchandran, the CEO and Managing Director of Dow Chemicals India. It's really been an honor and privilege to have him in our studios at the Indian News Channel here at the News Our Special Edition focused throwing on the Bhopal gas tragedy and its complete resurgence in the Indian market with Dow Chemicals stepping in. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching our show. It's really been a privilege to have you with us today. Thank you.